What's going on guys? Another day of Vlogmas. Let's get straight into this episode. So over the course of me having this YouTube channel, one of the most asked questions that I get all the time is, bro, how are you so efficient? How are you able to edit so fast? How are you able to produce as many videos as you do? So in this video, I'm going to break down five tips, five things that I do in post and program to effectively increase my workflow and make me be a more efficient editor. The first tip of which is syncing all audio clips at one time instantly. This is gonna be very effective for people who do music videos, but also very effective for people who are trying to sync up some scratch audio to something that they recorded to an external recorder or something of that sort. So the first thing that we're gonna do is drag in the main source of audio into the timeline. This is gonna be the clip, the audio, that you want to sync everything else to. Drag that in and then you're just gonna start by piling in every single clip that has that exact same audio. After you've got all your clips into the timeline and your main audio track, you're just gonna go through and select everything in the timeline, even that main audio track, right click, go to synchronize, make sure you have the audio bubble right here checked and just hit okay. And after the processing of every single clip, everything is gonna be on beat. It speeds things up so much. It makes things so much faster. Second tip that I have to effectively increase the speed of your editing is to use presets. If you have an effect or a transition that you typically do on a lot of your clips or a lot of your videos, you can save a preset. That way you can just drag and drop that effect when you wanna use it and you don't have to recreate that exact same effect every single time. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is click on the clip that has the effect that you've created on it and then we're gonna go up to the effects control panel up here. Second thing that you're gonna to need to do is to select every single one of the effects that you've added to the clip. Select them all. You can hold shift, select every single one of them. I only have one on mine because I only keyframed opacity. So I'm gonna click on this. And then once you have everything selected, you right click and go to save preset. So you're just gonna type in a name. I'm gonna name mine cuts two, cuts two and the type is gonna depend on what type of effect or transition that you have. So if you have a transition and you want that transition to happen at the end of the clip, you're gonna go to anchor to out point. This is gonna ensure that it's gonna happen at the end of the clip. If you want that transition to happen at the beginning of the clip, at the beginning of a clip, you go to anchor to end point. And if you want this just to favor differently depending on the length of the clip, you can just do scale. And it, what this is gonna do is, if you have a fast effect, it, and it's on a fairly small clip, it's probably gonna go a little bit faster. And if the clip is a little bit longer, it's gonna go a little bit longer. It's just gonna scale, and it's just gonna differentiate depending on the length of the actual clip. So I want mine to happen at the end of the clip. I'm gonna do anchor to out point, hit okay. And uh, when we go over to our effects panel over here, you can see the preset that we just created is right here. So I'm gonna delete this, drag this over, and I'm gonna drop the preset that we just created onto the clip. Create presets is gonna make you be able to drag and drop the effects that you often create for your videos. Third tip that I have to speed up your editing is to color coordinate your clips. When I film music videos, I have different sets. I have different locations that I film the different shots at, and I like to color coordinate these into the timeline. That way I know what specific one I'm gonna be switching to. If I, we look at this right here, you just see everything's blue. So all you have to do is select the clips that you wanna color coordinate. These two right here are the same. These are the same location. I'm just gonna select both of these, right click, go down to label, and then we just have a ton of different colors here. So I'm just gonna label these teal for the sake of the video. And then this is gonna ensure that we know that every single one of these uh, clips in the actual timeline is teal. So if we take these eyes off right here, we can label the rest of these clips right here. I'm gonna select this one right here and the one under it. Make sure these are the same location. Yeah, these are the same location, different angle. Right click, label these. I'm gonna label these violet. Take these eyes off so we can see the clips under it. These ones right here, kind of flashing. So I'm gonna label these two right here different color let's just do whatever that color is and we'll leave the rest of these blue so if you color coordinate every single one of your clips it's going to ensure that you know what you're going to be switching to when you do your switching in the editing process the fourth tip that i have that's going to speed up your editing is to use two timelines at once i know that this sounds crazy but let me show you all why i do it and why you would even want to do this so the first thing that we're going to need to do is create a new timeline i'm going to find some b-roll and i'm just going to start a new timeline from it and so when we start a new timeline, this is what we're gonna see, but we don't want the orientation of it to look like this because it's just not effective this way. So if we go up here and we click and drag this, we have the option to place this where we want it. We're gonna drag this under the main timeline, drop it, 
and now we have access and we can see both timelines at once so the next thing that we're going to need to do is go through all of our b-roll and select the best parts of it and drag it into the second timeline that we've created after you've went through every single one of your b-roll shots of the project and selected the best portion of them that you love drag them into the sequence what we're going to do is rename the sequences for the sake of this video and what i typically do so this is the main sequence right here we're just going to name this main and we're going to rename the bottom sequence b-roll and this is going to be an easier way to look at what we're doing right here so while you're editing in your main sequence and you find that you need to add some b-roll in the video whether that be you messed up on one of your performance shots or you're doing a vlog and it's time to bring in b-roll or slow motion shots or to overlay what you're talking about and your b-roll timeline down here you've already went through and you've already selected the best b-roll shots the best portions so you don't have to go through every single one of these clips in the media bin and go through and say oh man uh oh, let me look and find a good spot you've already picked out all the good portions of it so when you need a b-roll shot you can just go down here to your b-roll timeline click drag it right up to the main sequence lay it over top and boom what do you know you have your b-roll right there it's super simple it just makes it so easy and you don't have to go through and look at every single one of the clips in the media bin it's already organized it's already right there in front of you use two timelines at once this is going to significantly speed up your editing for sure fifth and final tip to speed up your editing is to use adjustment layers adjustment layers are layers that you lay over a clip or over an entire sequence of clips and everything that you do to that layer is going to adjust every single clip under it so i use adjustment layers for color grading all you have to do to get an adjustment layer is to go to the new items button right here go to adjustment layer hit ok and you're just going to drag an adjustment layer over the entire project so when i go to color grade i just put a let on the adjustment layer and it affects every single clip under it so if we click on it we go to our lumetri color panel over here we're going to go to creative browse look for a left to drop on i'm not going to try to make this super specific but this is what i do to color grade and this just speeds up the color grading process so much so let's say that the color grade didn't work for every single clip you can just go through and individually adjust the clips under it so that the let will work for them so this might be a little bit dark for this i'm going to click on the clip and i'm just going to go up to the basic corrections and maybe we can just up the shadows or something like that i'm not going to go through color grading i'm just going to show you all how i do it so adjustment layers significantly speed up your editing time as well those are five things that i do in post to speed up my editing to be able to get these videos out to you and clients if you enjoyed this video and you learned something useful make sure to drop me a like comment also subscribe to the channel if you're new here i'm gonna check y'all out tomorrow man peace